No, not really. If anyone else were being tossed around like this, I'd have my hands full. But they... They just sit there. Mm, it's kind of creepy. Everything all right, Mark? No, it's not all right. I'm not ready for this, Alex. A year in therapy. You still want to make yourself invisible. Mark, the three boys coming to the convention, boys younger than you who are blind in Vietnam, they know you're coming. You're a big hero to them. Some hero. I can't do it, Alex. Afraid? No, I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm just... Look. Don't worry. You'll be fine. The baby almost do. Maybe we shouldn't have come. If he decides to be born on the plane, I'm in good hands. Alex was a doctor before he lost his sight. But at least we should have brought a nurse. The child has me. That's all she'll need. He. It's gonna be a boy. <laughs> I can tell it's a boy. waiting for you. I thought we were going to sit together. I really can't sit long. I... Oh, and I feel tired. Of oh, course you do, poor dear. When we get to Seattle, I'm going to see that you have the best time. Alex, do you remember what you promised me at the last convention? Well, that wasn't me, Emily. That was the young pianist from St. Paul. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> Why did I ever tell you about it? You were wired to make me jealous. And I was, you know, I was for a long, long time. You just get back to your knitting because I, I have to see if the others are comfortable. Oh, my goodness. Don't think about it. Just think about that young pianist. <laughs> Daddy, where do I sing next after this convention? In Japan in three days. You ought to have something around your throat. You dare heave it. I could have broken my neck. I'm terribly sorry. If you'd use your cane correctly, this wouldn't happen. How do you know I wasn't using my cane? And that remark was unnecessary. I'm not a schoolboy. That's exactly what you are until you finish your therapy. The only therapy I need is getting to Seattle to see Dr. Sakama. Sam. How many operations have you been through already? Don't start that again. Don't start it! Don't pin your hopes on Dr. Sakama. I'm not going to live like this for the rest of my life. I'm going to see. Under a 2 calling SAX. Over. No contact. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. You'd better get back to your seat, Mr. Weiss. I think there's room for you and Major Larson in this one. Major Larson? Well, what do you know? I've been trying to meet you ever since I heard you were on the trip with us. I'm Larry Wise. I was with the Air Force, too. My plane caught it once over Okinawa. Direct hit. It sounded like that storm out there when we you started it. plenty of time to talk to Major Larson later. Just like a CO, ain't she, Major? But orders are orders. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Very attractive lady. Hmm? Oh, I wouldn't mind that a bit, honey. But I'm warning you, I'm kind of feisty tonight. Hey, 
I do. Hello. Hello. I'm Larry Wise. I'm Emily Garth. Hello, Emily. Seatbelt, please. Condor 820 calling SAX. Over. This must be your first convention, Mr. Wise. I know we've never met before, and I've been coming to these conventions for, <laughs> for several years. Yes, it is my first, uh, and I think it's my last, too. Uh... Oh, really? I just thought I'd take it in on my way to Sally's wedding. Sally, uh, that's my daughter. Oh, you're married. I was. My uh, my wife died. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Well, how nice that you could combine a convention and a wedding. Just, just thought I'd kind of live it up a little. <laughs> I used to. Maybe not the kind of dancing that uh, you young people do today, but uh, give me something smooth. I tell you, I can really find my way around the dance floor. <laughs> Those dancers, before we were assigned overseas duty, you couldn't stop me. Overseas? Oh, you were sighted. Oh, yeah. Most of my life. I had eyes like a horse, too. Well, these things happen. No oh, use crying about it. I never know whether to envy someone who's lost their sight or not. It would be lovely to remember the world, but terrible to lose your sight. Those of us like me who, who've never been able to see, well, we make our own worlds. I think perhaps that's easier. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, but I bet they end up being the same worlds. <laughs> The forecaster was wrong about the storm, wasn't he? No, the main body of the storm is still holding. This is only the edge of it. But we might be delayed getting into Seattle. The storm has knocked out contact with the ground. Captain Grinelli, I'm adept at reading voices. I have to be. Something else is wrong. Well, I, I might as well let you have it full blast. My instruments are malfunctioning. Without ground contact, I can't be sure we're holding true for Seattle. We might be on course somewhere over Montana. Or we might have veered north into Canada. Until we reestablish contact with the ground, I'm flying on pure instinct. All I can do is try to find a way out of this storm. Thank you for being honest. We're in no present danger, so I suggest that you go back to your people, and uh, I'll keep you informed. There's nothing I can do. Is that, Captain? There's nothing any of us can do. Is it warm in Japan? Be warm in the concert hall. That's all you have to worry about. The boy in Monterey said it snowed there. But it wasn't cold snow like ours. What boy in Monterey? The one who set up my microphone. You were there. You must have been. Not with anyone who talked about snow in Japan. Now, who was it? I can't say this is the smoothest flight I've ever been on, Mr. Cabot. Mr. Cabot, I know this is an imposition, but could I ask your daughter to sing a song or two? It might make the people feel easier, less nervous. Well, Dad, I wasn't paid. Please, Daddy, I'd love to. It would make me feel better, too. I wouldn't have to listen to that noise. Please, Daddy. Oh, it's your voice. If you want to ruin it, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cabot. They danced in the 
streets made of cobble and gold And they wore clothes of brocade from merchants of old And they danced, yes they danced Oh how they danced And mystical doves upon rainbows of orchid That sang of a chant from a land of so placid They danced, yes they danced Oh how they danced They drank from the springs placed high on the hill While sleeping in the sunlight erased all their ears They'd give us to us as soon as we left the ground. And a glass of champagne. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. Uh, all those bubbles. Uh, too much gas. <laughs> you know, it affects me the same way. <laughs> Oh, no. 
sorry. Christine? Christine? Alex! Someone, please help me! My wife! Ramon? I'll be right there. Emily! <laughs> Emily! Are you there? Oh, my Are you all right? Try to keep moving on that ankle. Emily! It hurts! Emily! Oh, thank God! Sam! Thank Sam? God, Emily! Are you all right? Alex, oh, please! Oh, no! Here. Here. Where is she? Here. She's unconscious, but she's still alive. Daddy, wake up. Hold her, just like that. Don't move her. Daddy. Daddy. Daddy, I love you. Daddy, wake up. Let me check you, Miss Cabot. Help him. I can't. He's dead. Wake up. Daddy, please wake up. My guess is, we've fallen in some kind of a forest. Pine from the smell of it. The tree saved us. Now, we have to find the rest of the plane. The pilot or the crew, if they're still alive, can help us find a way. Find it? How? How? You said we were blind. You said I was blind, remember? We're blind, but we're not helpless. We can tie a cord or rope anything to the one who goes out, and he can follow it back. Now. What can we use? What do we have here? I have my yarn. It's nylon and it's strong. Good. That'll work fine. Sure. But who's going to go out in those woods? Who? Mark. He can do it. No. Emily's right. The Major got his men out of the jungles. He can certainly get us out of this woods. I can't. I can't. All of you, listen to me. This is my... Sure, it makes sense, Major. It makes sense. Oh, Mark, we're so lucky to have you. Alex. It looks as if uh, you're elected, Mark.
Ravina checked them. They're all dead. We're alone. Don't you understand that? So what are we supposed to do? Stay here and pray for help? Now listen to me. We're safe here. Until I find this out. Does that sound safe to you? You said yourself we might be a hundred miles off our course. What if that blizzard hits? You think you expect me to stay here and be buried in it? Not me. I say we get out of here and find our way off this mountain. You can't stay here, that's for sure. The plane is liable to go any minute. We've got to find another shelter. He's right. And when we find help, they can come back for the women. No one gets left behind. All right. All right, Major Larson. How do we carry that pregnant girl? And the one who's in shock. And Emily with her sprained foot. How? You can't leave us here. Tell us how. How? I don't know how. Of course you don't know how. We can make canes. We can make a stretch out of something. Anything. The carpet. Anything we can find. But if we go, no one gets left behind. Now that's talking, Major. And I say we don't argue no more. We leave it all in the Major's hands. He'll get us out of here the way he did his boys. Well, uh, let Alex take charge. No disrespect, Matt Alex, but the Major's been through all this. He knows. I say we put it to a vote right now. Emily? Anything he says, just don't leave us here. Sam? Okay, okay. But I'm telling you right now, if anything happens, if we can't make it because of them, I'll make it myself. Alex? Alex, I don't want to be responsible for... You are the Lord for... Mark. Obviously, you're more qualified. From now on, I step aside. You're in full command. with that flare gun you found? I gave it to Alex. Here it is. Mark? Be careful. Of what? Sam. You heard him. He's only out for himself. If anything goes wrong, if he thinks we're holding him back. Well, I just don't trust him. We'd better start. Larry? Yeah. Emily, all of you. Listen to me. Work your way down to me. I'm holding the line that Larry made. It has a belt every five feet. I want you to fasten yourselves in this order. I lead. Then Larry. Then Emily. Emily, be sure Deborah is behind you. Yes. Sam, you and Ramon will carry the stretcher. Alex will walk alongside of us in case anybody needs help. We'll start as soon as Christine is secure on the stretcher.
Conway? Yes? It's a hell. Careful of the drop off there. Larry, help the women. At least the wind is not as strong here, so we'll stop for a while. Right. All right, Deborah? Yes. All right, Emily? Yes. Larry? What do you need, Major? Unhook yourselves and take your packs off. And stick together. When is the baby due? The 27th? Three weeks? Not anymore. Oh, no. I don't know how long it'll take. A couple of days. A couple of hours. Oh, my God. Sam? Yeah. Start clearing off space for a fire. Make sure it's not close to any trees. Larry. Yeah, what do you need, Major? Wood. Walk forward a hundred steps, then turn around. Pick up the wood as you come back. Emily, can I have your cane? Here. Thank you. Mark, where are you? Over here. I went into my knapsack to get some of those sugar tablets. Somebody's been at the food. The tablets are missing. How? The, the knapsack's been on your back. Oh, I... I put it down for a few minutes when I examined Christine. Nobody'd steal food. Look for yourself. Ah! Larry! Here, ah, here! Larry! Ah! Larry! Ah! Larry! Ah! Larry! Ah! Larry! What happened? We gotta get out of here! What is it? What happened? Out there! I heard it! I felt it! I don't know what it was! Sure. It was an elephant. It was a tiger. What's you trying to make a fool out of me? We all know your imagination it. is as big as your mouth. I heard it! Sure you heard it. The way you hear everything else that you gab about. The same way you heard your daughter say she wants you to come to live with her. She does! In a pig's eye. She came west to be rid of you. That's a lie! It's not a lie and you know it. It's a lie! She does want me to live with her! That's my imagination. That's the imagination of an old man. There's nothing to be afraid of. We'll set up a ring of fires around us. We'll post washes so the fires won't go out. After we've eaten and had some sleep, we'll figure out what to do next. Now, let's get those fires started. He said it didn't suit me. 
He, he wouldn't let me sing it after that night. I think he was wrong. It's different from the other things you usually sing. It's alive. Strong. Daddy was never wrong. Everything he did for me was right. Everything. Oh, why did I, I kill him? Deborah, you didn't kill him. I did. All my life, doing just what he said, hating, hating him. <laughs> I used to wish he'd die. I used to wish he were dead so, so that I could be free. And now he is. Deborah, don't take on guilt for something. What does a man like you know about guilt? <laughs> through what you've done. You don't need to feel ashamed. You don't need to feel so sick. Deborah, what you heard are lies. I didn't try to save my men. When we were captured, I ran. They died. Six men. Because the only thing I wanted to do was to save myself. If I can live with that guilt, real guilt, if I can find some reason for my trying to be alive, so can you. I can't. Uh, uh, I can't. <laughs> Don't move till all the fires are out. They'll go out. I won't take that risk. With this wind, we wouldn't stand a chance of a spark caught, and the fire spread into the trees. Then you put it out, Major. We must have built this fire on a log or something. If you don't believe me, see for yourself. I mean what Sam said. Don't worry about that. He's a terrible man. But it's the truth. My daughter doesn't want me. I kept pretending, hoping that if I see her, maybe she'll... But how does he know? Larry! Come over here a minute, will you? Be right back, honey. Over here. Down on the ground. Feel around. Does this feel like a log to you? Logs don't come square, Major. If I'm right, there should be another one right here. There is. There should be another one. It's an old railroad cut. These are ties. Where there's a railroad, there's civilization. All we have to Mark. do is follow it. Use your head. If it is an old railroad, it probably hasn't been used in Lord knows how long. But it'll still lead someplace. Emily! Here, Larry. Here. Here. Emily! It's a railroad!
railroad track. Water. You know what that means? There has to be a trestle. And on the other side, I'll go ahead. I'll find out if... No, we stay together. But I can make it faster alone. I can bring back help. But would you? Or would you just save your own neck? And forget all about us? Larry, you and I will go with Sam. The rest of you wait here. Come on, Sam, let's go. What are you waiting for? There's something blocking the track. Move, move. We'll go to our left. Down here. Right here. Ugh. Sam, Larry, this way. Here, it continues here. off the ground. It's a trestle. Where? I told you there'd be a trestle. We're gonna make it. It's over, Major. You're not going to panic everybody else. 
Christine and the baby are the only things that matter now. So let's get back to them. They need our help. Do you understand that? You're wrong, Major. You're wrong. our only chance. Ramon? Christine? It's going to be a beautiful baby. Yes, darling. But it hurts. It hurts so much. Alex? Yes? What can we do to help her? Mark? Sam? Hurry up with that firewood. I'm not staying out here. I'm not. No. You do as you're told. Who are you trying to fool, Larson? You know what that is as well as I do. It's a pack of wolves, and you're not going to catch me. You listen. For once, you're going to think about somebody besides yourself. Now you're going to get that firewood. Then we're going to figure out how to get across that river. All right, Major. You're going to save us the same way you tried to save your own men? You did try to save your own men, didn't you, Major? Let's get to work. Keep that wind off her. It's all right. It's all right. Baby. I'm holding it. What's wrong? I don't hear it. There's nothing wrong. But he should cry. He should... Don't worry, he'll cry. Well, we 
can't stay here. Mark, we cannot move Christine now. With that storm coming, we can't stay here. Well, now I think... Everybody get ready to move. I think what we should... Christine, I'll get something warm for the baby. I'm going to make sure that you're striped in tightly. Mark? Yes. They're gone. The milk and sugar. They're gone. Alex, maybe... They've stolen. Maybe it's time we... Just like the tablets were stolen. We know who stole the tablets. We know who stole the food. Search you. No. What? Sam didn't take the food. Of course he didn't steal the food. And he didn't steal the... I said he didn't take the food. What's the matter with you? Why, he'd sacrifice anything, even the baby, to save his neck. And you haven't said one word. Emily, Ramon, all of you, I'm sorry, I apologize. I hoped this wouldn't happen when you elected Mark for your leader. But before he lets us all die... I'm sick of this. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being blamed for everything that's happened since we've been on this nightmare. Maybe it's time we got a few things straight. Maybe it is. Maybe it's time to make sure there's no more trouble. Well, I... I'm glad to see you're showing some gumption. Alex, you want to tell them a few things about me. Why don't you? Why don't you tell all of them? You already told one. Sam knows what I did in Vietnam. Did you tell him just to make conversation? Or did you do it for the same reason you told him about Larry's daughter? That's ridiculous. I never said anything about it. You're the only one who knew about me or Larry. Apparently my therapy hasn't done much good. You're still imagining. Sam didn't steal the food, did he? You stole it. We were getting away from you, weren't we? And you couldn't let us do that. You were playing us against one another. The only way you could hold us was to use our failures. Mark, that's not true. Of course it isn't true. I help you because you need me. Without me, you're just half people. Yes, that's right, Alex. And you're just like us, a half person. I'll show you how much we need you. I'll sh show you. Alex. Alex? Alex? Alex, where are you? Alex! Ah! Alex! Alex, I'm coming! Alex! Mark, don't! Now they've tasted blood. We've got to get to the river. We can't cross that river. We'll find some way. Help him over with a stretcher. Let's get out of here. Ramon, the stretcher.
how wide this river is. It hit the water. It must have been 25 feet. We'll try it again. What was that? It hit something. There's something there, some kind of a structure. Feel around, find me a limb. Something long I can reach up with. Mark? 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 Yes, right here. here. I found something. Mark? Mark? Good, good. Something here. We're right underneath it. The rest of you stay together. Don't move. Is. Even someone who could see wouldn't try it. That's right, he wouldn't. He wouldn't be because he'd be afraid of what he saw. Think of how lucky you are because you can't see. No, no, I can't. The choice is yours. <coughs> Bridge or that? Mark, you are forgetting about us. Maybe you might get across. But what about us, Christine, the baby? We'll tie the stretcher to us. That way we can't lose it. Christine, are you willing to try? Ramon? Christine, 
Don't worry. I will stay with you. We will die here. I don't want to die now. Mark, we will do it. Good. We'll cross in pairs. I yell when we get to the other side. Emily, you take Deborah. Ramon, we'll go first for the stretcher. Then the women. Alex? Alex! Alex, we'll get you across if we have to carry you. Sam, get with Alex. I'm not going. Deborah, listen, don't, don't waste our time with arguing about I'm it. I'm not going. Deborah. No. 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 Deborah. Deborah. No. 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 Deborah, your life's out there across that bridge. And you're going over the rest of us to find it.
Not a cross with Alec. <laughs> Emily. Emily. It's going to be all right. Oh, please. It's going to be all right. Emily. <laughs>
said keep moving. Something brushed by my leg, Mark. Uh, oh, oh, somebody help him. What is it, dear God? <laughs> Emily, Deborah, everybody. Unless... <laughs> Unless wolves wear collars in this country, it's a dog. A dog? Then there must be dog. people here. Help us. We're over here. Help. It's Help. not a wolf. It's a dog. Help. Be quiet, all of you. If there are people here, we must make them hear us. Just listen for a minute. What is it? Listen. An adult, an adult would have answered. It has to be a child. Little boy, little girl, wherever you are, say something. No, he won't. Why not? Can you imagine what the bunch of us look like to him? He's frightened. I won't even ask you to come near us. But please, just tell us you're there. Don't be afraid. Let him go. I will, if you get us help. No, go away. Please. Let go of my dog. Here, Cody, here, Cody. <laughs> You're hurting him. Here, boy, stay. I'll fix you. I'll get my father. Daddy, daddy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.